So one of the really neat things about Windows 365 is how easily and quick the cloud PCs get made. The fact that a user can get their cloud PC in, you know, way less than an hour makes it really easy to get going for your users. But in order to make that process so speedy, you need some images to make those cloud PCs from. So that's what I'm going to be talking about and showing in this video. We'll cover the details of the gallery images, the requirements for your up to 20 custom images, the process of making one, as well as using a custom image in your provisioning policy. Sounds like a plan, eh? Let's get to it. So with Windows 365, you have two different kinds of images. You have the Microsoft maintained gallery images and you have your custom images. The gallery images are the same ones that you can use in the Azure portal for stuff like Azure Virtual Desktop or just standard VMs. These images are a really good starting point and for many scenarios, they will suffice. You have two basic ones here, the one with the Office Suite, AKA Microsoft 365 apps pre-installed and the one with just the OS optimizations. The OS optimizations are, by the way, also included in the image with Microsoft 365 apps pre-installed. What exactly they are is not something Microsoft really goes into details about, other than the fact that they are optimized for improved performance on virtualized environments and on lower end hardware configurations. They do state that the optimizations include service optimization for virtualization, removal of UVP packages, and that task scheduler actions are disabled. A benefit of using these images is that they are updated each month with updates to the operating system, security and feature updates of Microsoft 365 apps, if that's the image you chose, any Teams updates, as well as updates to the WebRTC redirector service. So using these images means that you don't have to update your image each and every month. Just keep in mind that it's the image that gets updated, not any cloud PCs provisioned from that image. And that also means that your cloud PCs provisioned one month will not be identical to the ones provisioned the month after if you use one of these gallery images. But like I mentioned, you can also create your own custom images and have up to 20 of them in Endpoint Manager. The requirements of such an image are as follows. The operating system should be either Windows 10 Enterprise version 20 H2 or later, or Windows 11 Enterprise 21 H2 or later, and only single session, not a multi-session edition of either of them. It needs to be generation two, and it needs to be generalized. The OS disk should not be using more than 64 gigs, since that's the smallest of Windows 365 SKUs, and the recovery partition should not be existing. Once you have fulfilled those requirements, it also needs to be stored in Azure as a managed image in order to be imported to Endpoint Manager. All right, enough talk, time to get to some demos. So within the Endpoint Manager, you can take a look at the gallery images by going to provisioning policies and editing one of these. And on the image, edit, gallery image, select change. And these are all that you have available to you. So like I said, this will be Windows 10 or Windows 11, either with the OS optimizations or with the OS optimizations and Microsoft 365 apps. And as you can see, you have a couple of different versions to select from. So for example, in this provisioning policy here, if I wanted to switch from the Windows 11 Enterprise plus the Microsoft 365 apps, I would click change. And then let's say go for this one without the Microsoft 365 apps select and then next and update. Now this updates the provisioning policy, but it doesn't update the cloud PCs that's already provisioned. In order to do so, you would have to go ahead and reprovision the cloud PC, like I showed you in the previous video, and then it will be built with this new image. Now, if I wanted to make my own custom image, then I would start off in the Azure portal, create an Azure VM, customize it and then grab an image of that VM. So I'll show you that now. So let's jump over to the Azure portal and then click create. And here we can actually search for a cloud PC. And then you can see that you have the Windows 365 cloud PC image template, selecting the drop down here and selecting the correct image. So let's go for the Windows 11 Enterprise Cloud PC with the Microsoft 365 apps as a starting point for our custom template. Now, the rest of this is just simply creating a normal Azure VM. So 
let's speed things up a bit. Right, so now it's deployed. So let's go to the resource and connect to it. And then, of course, click through all of these basic stuff. And now that it's ready, it's time to start customizing it. So let's add two applications here. Let's add Notepad++ because that's the, everyone's favorite demo application and a decent browser. So. So now that we have our applications installed and our base VM is highly customized, it's time to generalize the image because you know that was one of the requirements. So the way we do that is to fire up PowerShell as an admin. Then we'll go into the sysprep folder. And here we run sysprep slash generalize slash shutdown and slash out of box experience. And then we, you know, give it a couple of minutes to actually complete the task. And now it looks like the VM is done and shutting down. So we'll hit OK, go back to the overview of our VM and then wait for it to enter the stopped state, at which point we will need to stop and deallocate it before we can capture it as an image. So now it's stopped, so uh, let's actually stop it. And now that the status of it is stopped and deallocated, you can see that the capture button here became active. So let's click on that. And then we'll select, no, I only want to capture a managed instance. And then we will click review and create. And then create. And then the Azure portal will start initiating the process of actually capturing that VM as an image, which we then should be able to import to Endpoint Manager and then use as an image for our cloud PCs. So once the deployment is complete, we should go back to the Endpoint Manager, and then we'll go to Devices and Windows 365, select Custom Images, then we'll hit Add, and then we'll give it a name. So Custom01, that's beautiful. Uh, the image version needs to be at least three digits so let's do 1.0.0 we will select the subscription where our managed image is and then the source image should show up here this is the one that we just created select it and then hit add then it will start to upload the managed image into endpoint manager once that is done you can go ahead and delete the managed image in azure if you want to or you know just leave it so now that the upload is done, which did take ages, by the way, we can use this image in provisioning new cloud PCs or, you know, reprovision old ones with that new image. So if, for example, in cloud PCs, I want to reprovision this cloud PC with the new image, then I will go into the demo AAD provisioning policy and swap out the image there. So to provisioning policies, then demo AAD, then click edit on image. Then I can select the custom image here and then click select to select my custom image then select it next and update then i can go back to the cloud pc that i want to reprovision click on it and then initiate the reprovisioning so yes and then once the reprovisioning is done it should be based on that new image neat huh and once the reprovisioning is done, we can actually now go ahead and log into our newly provisioned cloud PC and see if the changes we made in the custom template is actually there. And once logged in, we can take a look at the control panel and see if the applications that we did install is actually here. And as you can see, both Notepad++ and Opera are pre-installed in this cloud PC. Neat, huh? So now you know a whole lot more about images and images and how to use them in Windows 365. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like. If you felt that I left something out, then do leave a comment down below. And uh, other than that, yeah, cheers.